Well, here's the box. The Dell U2412M 24 inch monitor. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Oh, it looks pretty well packed. And then here we have some instructions. I don't know what these instructions are trying to say. Uh, we open the box, pull out the interior, remove the remove something, remove the stand, remove the monitor, and uh, okay, I don't know what those are trying to say. Well, I'm just gonna have to figure it out on my own. Here's what's inside the box. It seemed to come out pretty easily. We got our monitor. Got a stand up here. Off the left you can see a CD with some instructions. We have a VGA cable, a DVI cable, a power cable, and a USB AB cable. I imagine this monitor has a USB hub built into it. Very simple. You can see there's a, a metal plate on the back of the stand and a hole about the same size in the back of the monitor. This is a button here, pushes in some locks, and it looks like it just snaps in here. Let's give that a try. Okay, the, the stand has some tabs. The tabs go in, locks into place, all done. Here's the monitor from the back. Looks very nice, very stylish. In the back here we can see we've got power. So we have a DVI plugged in. There's a VGA connector, a display port connector. I also have plugged in the, the USB uh, uh, square cable and there's two USB places right there. Along on the side you can see there's two more USB connectors. So looks like you get four USB connectors. Let's see the front. Well, from the front, it looks beautiful. My old monitor is a HP monitor, and to the right, we have the new Dell UltraSharp. And I can definitely tell the colors look a lot more beautiful. It's a, little, it's a little bit brighter. The blacks look very black. So like I said, this is a new monitor and uh, just a standard wallpaper here. We can see the same wallpaper over to the left. Uh, one complaint I have is, uh, you know, in order to save money, they don't have an adjustable height anymore, so I had to put some blocks underneath it. But all in all, it looks really nice. I really do like having a, a 1600 by 1200, 16 by 10 ratio, which matches my old monitor. I really prefer having that extra little bit of uh, real estate on the bottom. Uh, these 16 by 9 monitors use TV panels to save some money. Of course, the IPS is good, and we, we can go off to the side and even from the edge, you can see that there's no distortion, there's no color banding, there's no crazy stuff here. We're looking at this thing right on the edge. Let's kind of look at it coming down. Even from the most extreme angles, everything's crisp and clear. And like I say, no crazy artifacts like you would in a TN panel, where you look at them off center and the colors kind of shift around, you get some weird stuff going on. So, uh, I don't know what more I can say. I'm very happy with it. It's a beautiful monitor. It costs uh, you know, a bit more than maybe a, a cheap monitor, but uh, I should have this for many years to come with the L LCD backlight. It'll save some energy, and it's a beautiful uh, addition to my office. So, thank you, uh, Dell, for a top quality monitor. Here's a white background on two different monitors. On the HP with the CFL, you can kind of see it's a little bit more yellowish to where uh, the LED background has a, a, is whiter with maybe just a hint of blue to it. But it does look very crisp and clear. And uh, I mean, both monitors look good, but uh, the LED, you can definitely tell the difference. is definitely whiter, maybe a, a bit brighter. So uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, everything's super sharp with it. They call it the Ultra Sharp, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to, to show here. But uh, no, it looks really nice. I guess we can look at the, the typing. I mean, now it's 
I think the camera's doing that, but uh, very nice. <laughs>